back so soon, I know, right? Um, following up my last video on what I've been up to, um, I totally left out a bunch of stuff that I forgot because um, a lot of it we don't have the game packages for. It was downloads to our system, uh, to the Wii and stuff. Um, and so I totally forgot we had completed a few games and, uh, and some other stuff as well. So um, we'll start off with uh, Mega Man. The Mega Man franchise, which is arguably my favorite video game series of all time. Um, I like how they don't really mess with the formula, um, other, than, <clears throat> other than a few functional issues here and there, extra things they throw in to help Mega Man along the way, and maybe the odd little difference in plots and stuff like that, but it's just uh, it's a formula that works, and they stick with it. Um, so, we... Uh, me and James have been on a huge Mega Man kick lately. Uh, I introduced the series to him a long time ago, and he kind of didn't really... Um, he enjoyed it, but he didn't really think too much about it. But then recently, um, when we got uh, Mega Man 11, um, he kind of got into Mega Man huge, and now that's all he talks about. He's watching YouTube videos on all these uh, speedrun gamers and all this stuff. And, uh, and so we've been playing a lot of Mega Man. Um, I mentioned in a, a couple videos of these ago, um, we beat the original Mega Man game, the first one, um, and a long, long time ago, me and my buddy Simon beat Mega Man 2, so we didn't play that one. Uh, so the next one we beat uh, was Mega Man 3. Um, so in Mega Man 3, the plot is kind of that uh, Dr. Wily has says that he's uh, become reformed, and he's seen the error of his ways, so him and Dr. Light work together on this robot called Gamma which uh, is going to be this peacekeeping robot. Uh, but suddenly a bunch of robots go berserk and they, and they steal the crystals that power this gamma robot and, and uh, separate to the separate corners of the universe uh, or the world or whatever to, uh, to hide away with them. And so Mega Man's called into duty again to track these robot masters down, gain the crystals, uh, and, and set things right. So... Um, I'll see if I can remember them, but uh, the, the robot bosses in Mega Man 3 are um, Magnet Man, Hard Man, Top Man, Snake Man, Spark Man, Shadow Man, Gemini Man, and Needle Man. Those are the eight. Um, and then, uh, but of course, in the end, Dr. Wily turns on you, and once the crystals are recovered, he uses, he gets Gav the Gamma Robot to use as his own, as a uh, as an attack on Dr. Light and Mega Man, but uh, in the end you have to turn him away uh, once more for the third time. Um, and that is that game. Uh, so as soon as we finish Mega Man 3, we of course moved on to Mega Man 4. Um, Mega Man 4, uh, the plot took a bit of a different turn. Um, after Meg uh, Dr. Wily's last defeat in Mega Man 3, uh, he kind of went missing, so people presumed he was dead. Um, so the new villain on the scene is a, uh, a scientist called Dr. Kosak, who basically takes Wily's place and is doing the same thing. He's taking eight robot masters and, and, uh, and uh, setting them loose uh, on the world, and so Mega Man has to go face them and, and, and turn things around. Um, oh, and I forgot to... In Mega Man 3, the new features in it was that... Uh, Mega Man can now do his slide along the ground, which is a very key function uh, as the series kind of unwound. Um, and the other thing he could do was uh, rush his little canine robotic companion and all the different capabilities he offers. Uh, that's when he entered the game and started uh, started his uh, appearances. So um, in Mega Man 4, the new feature is that uh, Mega Man can charge his Mega Buster, so you can charge it up and get off a... a more powerful blast instead of um, just the single blast, uh, unless unless that's what you want. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, picking up on Mega Man Four. So yes, once again, he's uh, he's got to face down some robot masters. The eight in this game. And this is one we most recently played, so I should be able to get it. But there's uh, Skull Man, Toad Man, Pharaoh Man, Ring Man. Um, Bright Man, um, Dive Man, Drill Man, and I know I'm missing one man somewhere. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm missing one, I think, if I counted that correctly. But uh, yeah, so those are the ones you have to face down. Um, and in the end, you find out that act actually Dr. Kosak is just doing this um, to save his daughter, who has been kidnapped by Dr. Wiley, who is well and alive, and is forcing Dr. Kosak to do this on his behalf uh, at, 
the, the threat of his daughter. Um, and in the end, of course, you have to... Uh, it's, it's cool because this one had two kind of castle stages because you have to do Dr. Cossack's lab first, defeat him, find out the truth, and then go to Wily's castle. So it was a little longer of a game than usual. Um, and uh, just as good as all the other ones. These games are so good, it's... Uh, you know, it doesn't even matter. They're all tens as far as I'm concerned. Um, and then the next one, this one I actually have the case for uh, because I bought it, uh, the hard copy version for the PS4 uh, Mega Man 11. So this is the most recent one that came out kind of last year sort of thing. Um, and uh, in this one, it, it, the game starts with a flashback to old times when Dr. Light and Dr. Wily were still colleagues uh, working on robotics and stuff. Dr. Light was focusing on giving robots uh, um, personalities and th the power of thought for themselves, whereas Dr. Wily was working on this double gear system that would allow robots to uh, be faster, stronger, work harder, uh, but it also was put great strain on them. Um, and so his research was, was determined to be uh, unworthy and not worth it and, and more damaging uh, potentially than... than would do good and so they pursued Dr. Light's uh, line of research and so Dr. Wiley of course was pissed and uh, resentful and swore revenge on Dr. Light uh, in the end so um, so in this game um, Dr. Wiley's at it again with these even more powerful robot bosses so against his better judgment Dr. Light determines that the double gear system has to be installed in Mega Man, who he knows will control it properly um, and be responsible with it um, and use this feature to help um, destroy these uh, or defeat these bosses and uh, and uh, yeah, take Wily down one more time. <laughs> um, in this game, the uh, bosses are Bounce Man, Blast Man, Acid Man, uh, Fuse Man, Impact Man, Tundra Man, Torch Man, and I'm missing one more, and I think it starts with a B. Yeah, Blast, Bounce, and... Oh, man, I can't remember. But, uh, again, eight robot bosses, and then Wily's Castle. And, uh, and, and this one's... Uh, Mega Man 11 is um, similar to the, the ones that were made for the Wii uh, a, a number of years back, Mega Man 9 and 10, in that you can... In between levels, you can go to the store, uh, or not the store, but to the back to the lab, and you can buy stuff from your sister, um, uh, roll, uh, e-canisters, free men, uh, equipment upgrades, and stuff like that. So it's, uh, as long as you do your diligence and pick up the bolts and all the items uh, as you progress through the game, you can, uh, you can, you can cash it in for all sorts of things to help you along the way, which is really nice in these these last few games. It really makes them a not easy, but a little bit easier, which goes a long way when these games are so friggin' hard. Because <laughs> Mega Man games are hard. Um, and this game, uh, the graphics in this game are like unreal. They're they're so awesome. Oh, Block Man, that was it. He's on the cover. Block Man, that was the other B. Um, and so much fun and uh, it's just basically they've taken the exact same formula of all the Mega Man games before it and just kept it old school graphics but made them really really nice and uh, yeah it's it's a fantastic game I loved every minute of it um, the next game that we completed was uh, one of the PlayStation Plus free downloads from a few months back uh, called Onrush. Onrush is a racing game that's not exactly a racing game um the story is is that um uh, these people um started racing um and, and crashing into each other in this kind of um thrill-seeking adrenaline junkie type of event and uh it was all about the danger and, and the fun and uh and so you're brought into this world of the of these these crazies doing all this these stunts in this racing and and uh and you have to race on a team of other vehicles against another team and uh, and go through all these events as you progress through the game and, and get to the end. Um, the events are like, uh, be the first team to reach a certain amount of points and you earn points by uh, using your turbo and doing stunts when you go off jumps and stuff like that. Um, then there's other events where like, um, a target sits on the ground and moves along and, and you have to be in within that target and have more guys in than them 
and, and hold it for a certain amount of time and then you get points for that and the first one to get so many zones uh, wins and then there's ones where you have to uh, there's uh, basically markers and you have to go between them uh, gates I guess you, you would call them and uh, and get through as many gates as you possibly can and, and whoever gets through the most um, wins sort of thing so yeah you progress through these these events and get to the end of the game but it's a very fun game because it's super fast um, and it controls really well and it's just a, it's just mayhem it's just uh, you're just you're using boost all the time you're just trying to smack the opponent so they can't uh, so you take them out you can destroy them and get takedowns and, and get all sorts of trophies and stuff for doing different things and it's just uh, it's just pandemonium it's one of those games that's just pure pandemonium and it's and it's a lot of fun so um, that was definitely an awesome free download um, last thing is I totally forgot I just watched this last weekend and I totally forgot I did but uh, and finally too, uh, Batman versus Superman um, I don't know why people hated it so much um, I thought it was pretty good I mean it was long and slow in some parts but um, I thought that the performances was all good the story was good and it set up Justice League which I still haven't seen yet it's on my radar for the near future um, I thought it set that up pretty good so I don't really know what people's problems is uh, with it but uh, basically it starts with a brief cutscene um, showing Superman's battle with uh, oh God General Zod um, that tears Metropolis apart and kills all, all sorts of innocent bystanders uh, destroys buildings and uh, one of the buildings it takes down is, is one of Bruce Wayne's uh, business uh, buildings and he loses a lot of employees in the process and uh, so he swears that he's not gonna let this uh, alien get away with this and just be this destructive force and they can't stop him you know if he chooses to turn bad that they have, they have no means to stop him so um, he's bent on vengeance against Superman um, and it's gone to public opinion too there's everybody's split into two camps some people see him as a hero and a savior and this alien that's come to earth that's just making everything so much better um, and other people are worried about his power and, and want to keep him in check and they think he should be either controlled or leave or whatever um, and uh, so all that's going on and then you've got uh, Clark Kent working at the Daily Planet and uh, and he's he wants to report on a story about this Batman character who's going on a rampage uh, and, and thinks he's above the law and above the cops and uh, but his boss at the planet says nope we want headlines we don't want to report on actual news we just want whatever's gonna get us headlines um, and then in the meantime also um, uh, a young science brilliant but eccentric and bizarre scientist named Lex Luthor um, uh, comes into a supply of kryptonite which is the only thing that harms Superman and other metahumans of his type he approaches a Kentucky senator about um, weaponizing the kryptonite as a failsafe against Superman just to have it just in case he goes wrong they'll have some way to bring him down if, if, if it comes to that he's denied and so he decides to take things into his own hand and he sets this big plan in motion where he uh, he, he messes around with Lois Lane and puts her in danger a number of times which gets Superman all worked up and distracted um, he plays on Bruce Wayne's emotions about his parents death and his, and his uh, feelings on that to get him hating Superman even more and, and provoking a confrontation between the two and uh, and then he also goes to the uh, the crashed Kryptonian Kryptonian vessel um, in the middle of Metropolis and and starts a freakish science experiment in there so um, his plan is to piss off Batman so much and get him to engage Superman and obviously have Superman kill him and then he will use the weapon he's creating um, to destroy Superman afterwards and then he will be the big dog in in the city um, and the world um, uh, but uh, it, it looks like his plans going along okay until Batman and Superman uh, come to an understanding and uh, also Wonder Woman enters the fray um, who Bruce Wayne um, uh, encounters during his his uh, investigations into Lex Luthor's activities and uh, oh excuse me so tired and uh, in the end 
Um, the three of them have to team up against this abomination that, that Lex births from the, uh, the innards of this uh, crashed alien ship. And uh, if uh, they thought the battle between Superman and General Zod was, was destructive, well, this is just as destructive. So it's quite a finale and a battle at the end there. And, uh, and in the end... Um, Batman and Wonder Woman kind of set up the fact that they're going to get touch with, in touch with all these other uh, special humans who have abilities like they do, and uh, uh, because Bruce Wayne feels there's there's something in the air and something's coming and he wants them to be ready. So, and then the other, of course, you've probably all seen Justice League and stuff, but it's uh, the Flash, Cyborg, and um, Aquaman are the other three. So that are that they're going to try and rally and get onto their side. So yeah, so I. I thought the effects were great, the action was great, the story was great. Like I said, it, it was kind of, it was one of those subdued, slow movies uh, with bits of action in between. But I thought all the performances was great. I really like Jesse Eisenberg as uh, Lex Luthor. I thought he was great. And uh, Affleck as Batman I thought was really good too. And, and, uh, and uh, of course, Cavill is good as Superman. So I'd, and, uh, and I like the story, so I, I don't get it. Everybody has to have something to hate these days. There's, there's no, no movies ever good enough for the majority of the people, right? Everybody's got to hate on something. So I think that's just trendy to, to not like stuff even when it's good. So, um, but I kind of like everything. I know what I'm gonna like before I watch it, and uh, and so I only watch those things. And uh, I like superhero movies, and it's a good superhero movie. So sue me. Um, but anyways, that is all. Um, I uh, will have definitely more stuff in the near future. And I will be back just like the Terminator. Have a good night.